Hey there, I'm Blocko. And I'm Matt from the YouTube channel, Matthew Schuler. And welcome to Life Noggin. It's a few minutes before your big talk. Your hands start to shake. Your heart starts pounding. You, my friend, are feeling very anxious. But luckily, this is okay. Anxiety is a normal response to stressful or dangerous situations, and almost all of us have experienced it before. However, a smaller portion, about 18% of us, experience what is known as an anxiety disorder. This is a mental illness in which the anxiety lasts for at least six months and is characterized by distress that can interfere with the person's normal life. Someone with this disorder may have their anxiety triggered by specific things, called phobias, which lead to a person completely avoiding certain situations. Closely related to this is social anxiety disorder, which involves overwhelming worry about being judged by others or being embarrassed in public. On the other hand, some people may have generalized anxiety disorder, which involves persistent, excessive worry and tension that may not have an obvious trigger. And for people who get panic attacks, the feeling of terror strikes suddenly without warning. But what's actually happening in the brain? Let's take a look. Well, a major player seems to be the amygdala, a pair of almond-shaped structures located deep in the brain. These guys are a part of the limbic system and are responsible for fear and other emotional reactions. The amygdala then tells the hypothalamus to initiate the fight-or-flight response. This results in the release of epinephrine, increasing the body's heart rate and blood pressure. The sympathetic nervous system then kicks into overdrive and produces some of the physical symptoms that we see in people with panic attacks. Some studies suggest that in patients with generalized anxiety disorder, their amygdala are less connected to the areas of their brain that determine the importance of certain stimuli. This means that it may be harder for these people to distinguish between something that's mildly annoying and something that's definitely worth worrying about, like if you're going to be attacked by a giant snake, for example. Treatment usually involves some type of psychotherapy or different drugs. These conditions are very serious, so if you or someone you know may have an anxiety disorder or want to learn more, check out some of the links in the description. So leave us some tips in the comments about how you deal with your anxiety. Whether it's mild or severe, we can all help each other out. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. And don't forget to check out Matt's awesome video on ways to treat anxiety. Check out his videos now, he's amazing. As always, I'm Blocko. And I'm Matt. This has been Life Noggin, and don't forget to keep on thinking.